I've never, inf I've never offended a fucking mojado. Never offended. Never. I've only, I've only offended their bosses that bring them to my show. Like some of you didn't get it. Okay, so here's what I mean. So I was in Appleton, Wisconsin, and my buddy Jose goes, hey, let's go to the Olive Garden. I was like, let's go. So we went to the Olive Garden in Appleton, Wisconsin, okay? They put me in a corner, and there was nobody around me, and it felt really weird. And after I ate, the guy comes up, he goes, hey, I'm a huge fan. I was like, ah, oh, that's what happened. You put me over here because you didn't want, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I didn't want people to bother you. You know what I mean? I was like, I get it, but don't ever can do that again. What you did was mean. No, I was protecting you. Maybe, but we're in Appleton, Wisconsin. Those people out there, I'm the best celebrity they're ever gonna fucking meet. That's real shit. And you took it away because you think that I don't want to take a fucking picture with somebody because 30 seconds of my time isn't worth making these people happy. That's bullshit. The reason I'm good at what I do is because I care about people. Don't ever fucking do that again, ever. And he got all excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited now. I go, why are you getting so excited? My kitchen staff, they love you. They love you. They think you're amazing. Would you mind going taking pictures with them? And I was like, Fuck yeah, I would love to meet the Italians that made this wonderful meal for me. <laughs> do I need to finish that? story for the three of you not laughing it wasn't Luigi making my it was Luis <laughs> and it was a weird moment when I was walking toward the kitchen because the Italian music in the background faded away and then the kitchen music got louder and shit so there was this weird moment of when the moon is so those are the bosses that bring them to my show right but at the end of the show every once in a while i'll get this i waited till the end of the show as to not offend you in front of your fans but now that i'm here you need to apologize to this man you kept referring to him as an illegal this is a human being this is what's wrong with the world words hurt and this is a human being and human beings by virtue of being people cannot fucking be illegal but thank god they're always there to go no jefe i'm very illegal <laughs> i know you don't know this but the papers that i gave you that's not me My, my name is not Jacob Johansson. That's not my name. <laughs> oh my God, you're illegal. Jefe, remember when you asked the waitress for ice and I left? <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that jefe. I didn't know. You said, I want ice. I said, I gotta get the f out of here. Oh my God, but he called you a wetback. He said wetback too. I know that was very nice of him. <laughs> How is that nice? Because I swam, so I was wet everywhere. But he, he just said the back, that's very nice. He could have said mojado del todo, but he didn't say that. <laughs> they accept who they are. They're happy as shit. That's why I love hanging out with them. Never offended them, they teach me. Right? Like when I go hang out with my illegal immigrant friends, I begin to love life again. Because they don't complain about it like we do. They don't bitch about the world like we do. America's broken, America's not American, new never in country, America's broken. They live in the shittiest parts of this fucking America. And yet they believe in America like we don't. If you don't believe me, go talk to somebody that lives here in Brea and they'll tell you how the taxes are killing us and you don't understand and these parts are ruining everything. <laughs> when you go to Santa Ana, they believe in this other country. <laughs> in Santa Ana, they tell their kids, mijo, if you work hard and apply yourself in this country, mijo, one day, 
You can live in Laguna Niguel. Yes, you can, cabrón. Yes, you can. <laughs> Maybe Anaheim Hills or something like that. Mira. <laughs> and see, look who laughed. All the immigrants. Did you notice that? <laughs> All the immigrants laughed. All the Americans are like, no, it's more complicated. It's very complicated. <laughs> Happiness is a choice. Like, here's a statistic, by the way, and for the people out there watching it, listen, if you live in a city or a town where there is a billboard that says Abo Gado, that means lawyer is Spanish. <laughs> Call them and ask them if what I'm about to tell you isn't an actual statistic. So, based on a geographical area, the amount of people that live in there on a per capita basis, do you know who gets pulled over by the cops more than African-American males in this country? Illegal immigrant men. But you never hear about that You never see it, you never see videos of it, none of that You want me to tell you why? Because when they get pulled over, there's never an incident. When they get caught, they know they're caught, they know they're fucked. All they do is go like this and go, por favor, Diosito. <laughs> que no me manden a México, que no me manden a México! <laughs> and all the fuckers that are not from Mexico are practicing their Mexican Spanish so they get deported closer. So like, I have, to, I have to sound like a Mexican. I have to sound like a Mexican. Uh, yes, yes, officer. Like, like, because they don't want to be like, oh, no, oh, you're not Mexican, bitch. Go back to the Dominican Republic. They're changing their music from bachata to Vicente Fernandez. Change it, change it, change it, cabrana. But once they get pulled over and caught, they don't fight it. They don't ask questions like we do. Like, can you explain to me? I know my rights. Why did you pull me over? <laughs> they don't say Even when the cops are mad. Hey, do you know why the f I pulled you over? They look right at him and go, yes, yes, I do, jefe. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, jefe. I know exactly what I did. <laughs> but I did like four things. Which one do you see? Which one do you see? No, I did like four. I'll tell you. No, yo te digo, por Dios. I'm not going to lie to you, jefe. <laughs> Turn on the camera. Turn on the camera. So it sees me. So it sees me. <laughs> Primero, mira, I saw the sign, jefe. I saw the fucking sign. He said, no, you turn. I saw the sign. <laughs> but I didn't see you. So f it, I did it. <laughs> then I ran the red light. Did you see that shit? I told her it was yellow, pero estaba roja la gama de was red. Then I got on the 22 freeway. How fast was I going? You're going like 85. No, 94. But you didn't see that shit. I saw you, cabrón. You didn't see me put the brake. I didn't put the brake. I didn't put the brake. I saw you and then I let it go, let it go, pero... Well, can I have your insurance? Yeah, the general, he said no. The <laughs> Chacuile, he's a liar, he said no. Even the puta Adriana, that bitch said no too. <laughs> Adriana said no, Fred Loya said no. That fucking bitch with the dog, that puta said no. Even the dog was like, rrr, rrr, that shit. Well, can I see your driver's license? Pues claro, jefe, there you go. Jesus, God damn, what the f Your name is Jacob Johansson? <laughs> yes, jefe, that's my name. Remember a few years ago when the President Trump said that he wanted more people from Norway to come here? <laughs> well, here I am, jefe. <laughs> Johansson. I am a Scandinavio, can you tell? <laughs> By the accent, <laughs> I am a vikingo, yes. <laughs> They're happy. They choose to be happy. We choose to be sad. Think about this. Every time Americans get two jobs, we complain about it. Can you believe that I have to get a secondary job in order to subsidize my standard of living? 
Do you know how embarrassed I'm going to be when I have a friend get in the Uber and I'm driving it and I have to explain why I got an Uber? <laughs> Illegal immigrants? Fucking different. Hey, Raul, I got another job! My money, my money, my money, my money! Ask an American to stay overtime. Oh! What about you, Raul? What about you? My money, my money, my 